you can connect your Moto passes into uh, Nuke for relightning. So in this example, I have this scene which have a, has a pipe. In this pipe is uh, ambient occlusion baked, and you can really see the advantage of using a simple setup to output to render output what you need. So here it is, the render output, you select it, and when you right click on it, you have a bunch of options which you can choose in order for you to output the correct pass. In this case, we're going to output world coordinates, which looks like this. So now we're, gonna, we're going to add another extra output pass, and in this case, we're gonna need the normal, normal uh, geometry pass. Geometric normals, rather. So you can see it up there on the list of your passes. So from here on, everything is just a matter of exporting those two passes in a single EXR image. I also took the uh, CDEP in order for me to show you this little advantage when you're exporting directly from Moto into Nuke your passes remain the same uh, the way you named them actually the way Moto named them so you can import them back into Nuke so here I'm just sampling um, well I like floating panels so in this case I'm going to um, be at work to show you this with uh, floating panels because it takes less space on screen. So here we have the focal point and I'm just dragging it around so you can see how interactive it is. And basically this just uh, shows you how easy it is uh, for Moto to uh, output passes that are very much recognized into Nuke without further um, problems. So let's Go to the relightning part. Here I have three EXR uh, images which I saved as layers from Modo and it generated output passes for color, normals, and world coordinates. And these are going to be driving our effects for relightning. When you're relightning, basically you're, you're going to have to take um, the channels from your images and drive them into new channels so you can take advantage of the relightning node. Basically you're taking the color pass and copying its channels RGB into the uh, normal pass outputting them as XYZ. So here you go, first select your red channel then your green channel and of course your blue channel. But since the channels you're going to be created are not inside the list, you need to make a new channel for each of the RGB channels. You want to copy that information into this, these new channels. So you name them accordingly. Red would go to X, green would go to Y, and blue would go to C. In this case, I'll name, it, I'll name it Normal C. So here you can see that we have copied the information from one channel, from one pass to another pass through channels. So now we want to create another copy, another copy node, and in the same way we're going to set up RGB okay, into um, world position X, Y, and Z. And those are channels that do not exist. Therefore, you need to create a new channel for each. Red to X, green to Y, and blue to Z. In this case, I'm just going to name them pause.z and then rewire those through the copy channel. So A input is your world pass, while B input would be 
your already copied channel from the previous passes. So now we're going to set up the lights and the scene. Because this is going to be a 3D setup inside Nuke, we need to create a scene so that it could render out in 3D space. And therefore, when we use the relight node, it asks for connections through the camera, to the camera, to the lights. Okay, there it is. Also to the material and the color. So right now I have disabled the light so you can see all other nodes without further interference. So I decided to plug the material into the relight node since I already know what material my render is. This is just an, an image. But we can project this image through a series of uh, point to locations node. So right now we are on 3D space and since I don't have selected anything we can't see anything so I'm going to leave my floating panels in my second monitor so you can watch what's going on on the 3D viewer. Okay, so once I, I enable my light I can see everything relit. In this case my light is a yellow color. And since the pipe or tube, however you would like to call this, uh, it's not colored, it's just pure white, it receives all the color from the light. From here on we can adjust the intensity and also the color. So you would ask, how would you know where to move the light if I don't see anything on 3D space? Well, ahead in the video we'll see how to create uh, a point to positions, which is basically a point cloud using data from your passes in order for you to see where you're exactly, where you are lightning exactly. Right now I'm creating a second light. And also I'm going to change the color. So we have a red light, name accordingly, and we also have a blue light. Right now the red light is not affecting my, my pipe. Okay, so I'm going to move it around. Until we can see some difference between the red and the blue light. Now remember, my pipe is a white colored pipe. It doesn't have any, any, any kind of textures for the moment. I just wanted to keep this sample as simple as possible. Therefore, if I adjust the intensity of the red light, all the red will spill over the white a material of the pipe. So for the moment we're just making a simple setup to relight this pipe but like I said before after these simple steps we're going to, to drive the point cloud which will allow us to see how the model actually looks on 3D space. What's really important here is that you can uh, create a normal pass and a world pass or camera pass depending on what you would like to do in Modo either way will work I just prefer the world pass so here I just selected a point a position to point and every time every time you use one of the connections a new connection will appear until you fill them all the first one will be the color one the second one will be the position one you know a, uh, a normal pass rather and the second one or last one the third one rather uh, will would be the world pass so once you have plugged that into the position position to to point and click one to, to make the viewer 
a single connection to the new node, you will see then that your point cloud is actually drawing your, your mesh, your 3D object. Right now, I'm going to turn on the properties for, for the light and leave them on my second monitor since you need to have this active and selected in order for you to see how it influences the scene. So the final moment is uh, the compositing moment. Obviously, we're, we're making this a really short tutorial. And now we're going to take the color pass and merge it with the Relate model on 3D space. So right now, it's just set to over, OK? But I'm going to I'm going to blend I'm going to use the blending mode on the merge node and I'll probably set it up in well here I'm just showing you that the lights are active but on my second monitor so going back to the merge node I'm going to use the uh, multiply because I want the light to cancel out the white material that the pipe has. And basically, there you have it. Once you have released your scene, you take, uh, you take a view with the position to point uh, node. You can adjust lights. And of course, if, if you're compositing and you're mixing it with your color pass, then you will get the results to work with the relight node. So I hope you you really like this tutorial. I was really happy that Modo could output this so easily. Thank you for watching.